This is In for Life TV headline news January 28th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Iran on Sunday offered to help Egypt deal with growing chaos on its breached border with Gaza, Egyptian's foreign ministry said. Egypt, meanwhile, has invited Hamas representatives to Cairo for talks on ways of controlling the border between Gaza and Sinai. Hamas officials said the visit will take place next week. The invitation came shortly after Palestinian Prime Minister Salam Fayyad held talks in Cairo. Defense Minister Hood Barak met secretly with Pakistani President Musharraf in Paris last week and discussed with him the nuclear threat and regional developments, Channel 2 reported Sunday. Barak expressed his concern over the rise of radical Islam in Pakistan and the possibility of the country's nuclear capabilities falling into the hands of terrorists. Shah's party spiritual leader Rabbi Avadia Yosef announced on Sunday following a council of Torah sages that Shah would quit the government once negotiations with the Palestinians over the fate of Jerusalem begins. Shah has already made similar statements in the past, but Sunday's declaration was predominantly aimed at making it clear to Prime Minister Olmert once again that the party will not compromise. Police officers involved in the death of 13 Arab Israelis during riots in October 2000 will not be indicted, Attorney General Menachem Mazuz announced Sunday. Mazuz released an official legal opinion reaffirming the Justice Ministry's Police Investigations Department decision from September 2005 to terminate the investigation into the officer's actions. Israeli Arab Knesset members, including Ahmad Tibi and Jamal Zahalka, will attend the funeral of George Habash, the founder and former Secretary General of the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine. Habash, who died in his home in Iman Saturday, will be laid to rest in the Jordanian capital later today. Elsewhere in For Life TV, the latest developments on the Gaza blockade and the situation at Rafiah. And an exclusive interview with the Turkish explorer who claims to have found Noah's Ark. That's all for Info Live TV, Israel's only internet television website that broadcasts in four languages to the world. Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service. Regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, Infolive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access infolive.tv.